Hello, hello, hello. It is Aliatana and I am back to play some Sims. Okay, so it's a lot happened last episode. So as you can see, our buddy Grim is still hanging out with us. We've got a stalker outside as well. Maybe she can be our next spouse. <laughs> Anyways, so Grim is here because unfortunately at the end of last episode, we lost our second spouse. Miss Bella Goth, RIP, you will be missed. Um, I mean, yeah. The positive was that we used um, Gerald, our little... Oh, why is he little? Damn it. Okay, that's fine. We can, we have time for Gerald to get big again. But we have our cow plant Gerald here, and he was who kind of helped us with Bella. And we also drank her elixir of life, which means we are now back to being a full young adult again. And that's kind of what my plan was, was like... I wanted the cow plant because I wanted her to stay young forever. Like, I don't want her to age up. I want her to be this, like, vampire woman who, not actually a vampire, who just stays young forever and has ten different spouses because she, you know, can do that. So, yeah, anyways, um, that's my plan. Um, but we're back down here. We're at, we're done with our second spouse. And we need to move on to our third. Now, I had, like... A couple of like you know options so when we went on our honeymoon to Hanford on Bagley with Bella Kiyoshi was around and you know he um, kind of sparked Rosalie's interest and you know he's a good option because I'm pretty positive that his family has quite a lot of money like he they live in one of the nice houses in Mount Kamarabi so I could probably steal quite a lot of money from this this guy so positive um I also have Eliza here I don't know why but I I just I don't know about that but the other one I was thinking was maybe Luna um so Luna right now we're just friends but I could see her maybe becoming like you know a potential because you know she has money too she lives in that giant house in Windenburg so we're gonna keep that as the long game like maybe she'll be spouse number five or six so I think I've kind of convinced myself that we're going to go and get Kiyoshi into our lives today. So today's goal, get Kiyoshi to become our boyfriend. It shouldn't be too difficult um, considering that, you know, they've already woohooed several times. Um, so they should be fine. But, you know, she is very sad still from um, Bella. Uh, she watched her die. I don't like the fact that she says that she's her true love because she's not. Like, look, they did not have a great... It wasn't great, okay? But Bella was definitely better than Bjorn. Bjorn was our first, and Bjorn is also down in the basement. They both live in the basement in our in our doom... Pink fluorescent room of doom. Pink fluorescent room of doom! <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't want to be in this pink fluorescent room of doom. Like, could you imagine sitting there all day? Oh, my God, my eyes. Anyway, we might as well become besties with Grimm. Um, and then we also have our cat here, Marvin. Marvin is our bestie, too. Um, I'm going to get a comforting hug, maybe, from, from him. Will that make me feel better? Like, less sad? Can I call the sadness hotline? And it's New Year's Eve? How sad. Well, you know what? Today is the perfect day to go out on the town and, and on New Year's Eve and new beginnings. New beginnings with Kiyoshi. You know, I think that she'll be able to get over her sadness enough. Um, I can just call a sadness hotline a ton and like try to get that out of mood lit out of her. Um, but I want her dating at least Kiyoshi by the end of this episode. If not having him engaged, like having them engaged, but you know. Okay, bye Graham. Nice to see you. Well, you know, it's always nice when Grimm drops by, you know? We uh, we actually have a decent relationship with Grimm um, because she, we've met him a couple of times. Uh, by the way, Bjorn did not die via Gerald. Um, Bjorn died eating poisoned pufferfish nigiri, which he shouldn't have been touching people's food, should he? Yes, that's right. Anyways, so she's still sad. Can you not? <laughs> like, 11? Who made 11 ver... She made that many scrambled eggs? Okay, clean up. I, like, I think that's a glitch. Excuse me? Did you see that? He was giving total... 
Why can't I move this? Why? What is this? Why is there a trash plant inside my house? Oh my god. Okay, get rid of that. What in tarnation? Oh my god. Disasters. Get rid of that. Oh my goodness. We don't need a trash plant. Can you just like be nice to Marvin? You need you need help. She's also just like constantly wearing her um where can I move this now? Oh, I can now. Okay, that was really weird. Okay, let's use the bathroom then. How's our wash? Oh, is it broken? Nice. I guess we need to get our washing machine replaced. Uh, so that's fun. Oh, Kiyoshi, I heard about the someone's passion of someone special to you. My condolences. Thanks, Kiyoshi. I really appreciate it. You know what? Let's send him a sad text and maybe he'll invite me over and then I won't be as sad anymore. Um, also, can we talk about how underrated this swatch is of this barbecue? Please. Like, it's actually sick, though. I <laughs> really love it. This house is... I'm, I really like this house. I don't want to move her. This is her Black Widow lair, okay? She doesn't need anything else. Okay, let's go see his house. We're going to check it out and see how much, you know, we think we can steal from him, you know? Too bad she's not actually klepto and can't actually steal, but that's okay. Kiyoshi, ask for advice, complain about problems. Let's have a New Year's toast though. <laughs> okay, so who is here? Okay, yeah, so Naoki, I think this is his brother? Or is it his dad? I don't know. Anyway. But, um, they have this nice house. Pretty sure this is the house Simsy built, right? Kayla, did you build this one? I think so. I don't remember. Um, but, yeah. So I think they are rich. So I think we should be good. We're just gonna have a, a, a nice little toast. He's got a nice earring though. I really appreciate it. You know what? I think that we should go on like a nice little walkie walk around. <laughs> Guys, my my watch, my Apple watch just listened to me and responded and it freaked me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's go maybe for, I kind of want to go for a walk though, like in this area. It's kind it's the nice area that has this like nice little trail. And I like the idea of going for a walk with Kiyoshi and just like getting my life together not being as sad you know um maybe it doesn't let me walk around here i thought that we could but maybe this isn't the area oh this is the area where you can go swimming though can't you yeah it is the winter so that's probably a bad idea well, that's too bad so Let's just like talk about other things. Get to know him a bit. Um, don't criticize the woohoo techniques. Don't be rude. You've all you're already going through shit. Also, I for, don't know if you know this, but uh, if you don't know, Rosalie is a nurse, so she can give medical advice, which is very great. Uh, when's her next shift? Okay, yeah, in eighteen hours. So yeah, she's an assistant nurse now. Um, I'm working her up the chain. Don't you worry. So she like works and she like finds victims there too, right? So Bella's calling me from the dead. What do you want? Ma'am, we were married and then you got eaten by a cow plant and died. So Okay, I need to say it. The option to ghost her is just screaming at me because of the fact that she's a ghost. Like, I'm sorry, I need to do it, I'm sorry. Bye, Bella, ghosted, ghosted Bella. I guess you're not responding. Yeah, honey, I'm, I've, I'm very sad that you're dead, but I, I'm moving on. He dislikes video games? Hmm, that's odd.
All right, well, whatever. You do you, buddy. Oh, so sad. They do have a nice... Oh, yeah, and the Nanani. Nanani. Henford on Bagley. You're not even from Henford on Bagley. Why do you care? Okay, I'm going to get a really easy re resolution. Ready? <laughs> get a significant other? That should be really easy for me. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I'm going to share my resolution with him and be like, yo, like, just so you know, I want a, I want a boyfriend. I haven't played with the sound up in the longest time. Is she, she's still very sad. So can I complain about problems? Does he have a career? I want to know. I have a career, so it's important for you to have a career to spring money in too. I'm not doing everything for you. He's a lawnmower. Oh boy. Okay. Well, oh, that's going to change. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Um, hmm. This is a very nice house, isn't it? Oh, there's a little area up here. Can you swim in this? No, it's just a fountain. Oh, okay, well. All right, well, I mean, I'm just gonna like dip out. I have shit to do. I can't hang around all day. Um, But like, I kind of wanna go here, so let's. Bring Kiyoshi with us, and we're gonna go to the mountain. We're gonna go snow more board, snow more boarding, snow more boarding, snowboarding. <laughs> that was difficult to say, but anyway. He's still, she's still just like very sad. Ask for advice. What should I do? We need to move on. Okay, I'm gonna just. So first of all, we are definitely goofy. Uh, go snowboarding continuously. Medium intensity. Come on, guys. Very cute. They're on a little snowboard adventure. I wanted to go snowboarding, but, like, I also don't because I haven't done it in, like, 10 years. And, like, I would definitely hurt myself. So I don't want to do that. But I'm going to just do it via The Sims instead. Are you, are you okay? Can we... We're not going to the fair. Get over it. Get over it, girl. There you go. Pretty sure I have another outfit. Oh no, I don't. She doesn't have a snowboard outfit. But look at her doing so well. Whoa, look at her go. Is she gonna fall though? Oh, wipe out. <laughs> that sucks. I feel bad. See, that's what would happen to me. So like, I'm fine with her doing it, but not me, you know? Go, you're supposed to do it together. Oh, there's a festival? Well, that makes it. Yay, we're gonna go again. Who else is here? Jess, Mickey, Kiyoshi. Can you, what is wrong with you? It's like, for some reason, glitching, glitching. Okay. I love the like free for all, like, uh. <laughs> when they go over the jumps. It's too fun. Oh my god. I know exactly what I want to do. Kyoshi, buddy, come here. We're gonna go hike to the stave catch sta cave statue with Kyoshi. We're gonna go on a hikey hike. She's wearing her snowboard boots still, but that's okay. Where is Kyoshi? 
We're gonna want, I wanna try and woohoo with him if I can. Where is he? There he is. This is so cute. They just like talk while they're walking. And the way he walks too, and she's like so sad. Share a secret. Don't criticize Rutu. Please don't. Aw. Ah! Are those bugs? Ew. Oh my god. Holy shit. She just got electrocuted. Denki Mushy? And Kyoshi just didn't do anything to help her? Holy crap. Dude. Maybe we shouldn't bury this guy. He didn't do anything to help us when we were under attack by wild animals. Okay, so we became good friends with Kyoshi. We made it to the cave statues. Make an offering of good fortune. Should I put a swab sample in? Huh. Hmm. Gonna give a choco berry. Why not? Why not? Maybe that'll give me the fortune I need to make it through this life. Where did you go? Oh my god. She just walked all the way down, just walk all the way back. See, what is that? Like, this is Sim Sim. This is what we need help with. Like, those things should not be happening. Like, now she's going to pee her pants because of that. Oh, good. He's New Year's spiriting. Get to know. He seems very smitten with her, which is really good, um, considering how sad she is. We can call the sadness hotline. Can he not help her with being sad? Like, I thought this was what the whole thing was. Why does he keep telling me about Henford? I don't care. Okay, is there a bathroom up here or is she screwed? Um, what is this? Oh, yeah, I have a feeling she is going to pee herself. Okay, we have no outdoor bathrooms up here? Nothing? Well, Looks like I'm just gonna yeet her out of here and we're gonna, um, I have an idea. Ask him out on a date now. We're gonna leave and then we won't have the problem of not having a bathroom. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the city and we're gonna hang out at the Stargazer Lounge for New Year's. Beautiful night. I'm so excited. And everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, look, Rosalie's already moved on. And everyone be like <laughs> And she looks she looks so bright and youthful. Like how? It's called Bella's Essence of Life. The essence of life. Okay, go use the bathroom before you pee yourself. Thank you. And then I'm going to get some food for us or order drinks for the group. Got to say grapple. Who is this? She got her cowboy. Kayla! Kayla with the cowboy hat? Look at her go. Joyce on. Who did she marry? Um, I would just really like some wine. Thank you, ma'am. Did she not go to the bathroom? Just, just go to the bathroom then. You dummy. Why wouldn't you go to the bathroom? There's a lot of people here. Oh, Hajar is the entertainer. Justin, super dressed up. I mean, Kayla, I kind of want to become friends with her. Uh, let's order some french fries. Why not? We're hungry. And then we, we can chat with 
Kiyoshi while we're sitting, and then that works out for that. Get out of my way, Hajar. You're supposed to be working, girl. Why don't you go and perform for us like you're supposed to? Gosh. Just gonna steal those fries. They are mine, after all. Oh, it's Diego. There's a lot of people. Dustin Broke is here. There's a lot of people here for New Year's. Oh, she's gonna go use that guitar over there. You're not gonna go over here where there's an entertainment space? <gasps> Look at all the celebrities we can whisper about. Can I whisper about um, Thorn? Is he even here? <laughs> or am I just whispering about him in general? Okay, call the sadness hotline. You need to get yourself happy. Yeah, let him go to the bathroom while you're talking to the sadness hotline. That's important. Can I just like attempt to introduce myself to Dustin maybe? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Did it work? No. It did not. <laughs> Okay, Kiyoshi's still over there. Can I call the sadness hotline some more? <laughs> it's New Year's Eve and she's just like depressed. Why is there no TV in here, up here at all? That's so dumb. There should be a TV somewhere. I mean, to be fair, we've already passed over all the uh, countdown and everything. Like We're way past the point of no return. It's just like the middle of the night. It's four in the morning and yeah, we should probably leave. Fish for compliments, though, when you wake up. <laughs> I have work in an hour. Uh, yikes. Well, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a great day. Great day. We're going. I'm, I'm going. This is what this, this Let's Play is. It's ridiculous. Um, like, <laughs> she's gonna die, she's gonna die. Like, I ha I technically do have UI cheats on, but I don't want to use it, so. Can we be done our date yet? 21 minutes? Oh my god. I kind of have work soon. Like, can we hurry it up? Give medical advice? <laughs> are you, are you good? I don't think he wants it. Can I ask him to pursue his dream job? I think that's good. Interesting idea. Okay, let's see what happens. Legendary date. I'm so glad we had such a good date. Now we can go to work and um, suffer <laughs> for the day. Let's go. And it's the first day of spring. <laughs> oh my God. She's so exhausted. Is there anywhere you can nap? Oh yeah. Let's nap here. We really should have a bed here somewhere. It's been a long ass day. Um, do I still have fries? <gasps> yes. Eat some fries. Next day fries are always the best, you know? Okay. Um, I need to do some stuff. So let's... I want to get you onto the treadmill because that's a you running problem and not a me running problem. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. If we can make it to the treadmill test, it would be great. Thank you. Let's do that. Thanks. After he does that, I'm going to have her, her take a nap. Oh, Carolyn. Carolyn is here now. Thank God. We have another doctor with us. Um, our other doctor was a ghost. So we did need a, 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 per, a, a real doctor. Oh, it's Naoki. I should really take care of Naoki, huh? He is kind of my like almost boyfriend's brother. Oh god, I have to go to the front desk. Okay, well, I'll do that first. So let's get you to the bed. Appreciate that. And then we're going to go to that house call. See, so yeah, this is um when Anna died. It was very it was very hard. So, I haven't done a house call in a while. And I don't know if anybody has, if you've never seen this before. It's kind of interesting. But Sims can call the hospital and be like, oh my god, I need some, a doctor to come look at us. And there's usually like a few Sims um, that need to be, yeah, three Sims that need to be looked at. So looks like Thomas Watson, Paka's here. So Thomas looks like he's one of the victims. <laughs> victims. 
we're all oh, look we're out in Hanford oh this is so fun I haven't had a house call out in Hanford yet so we just have to basically examine the patient give them medicine and that's it it's very simple but look how cute Lily and Sheldon <gasps> Sheldon buddy I need you to put pants on but you're so cute so now I've got to go and give the medicine to the patient so oh buddy I wonder if these kids are okay so the toddlers are not part of this is Paka part of this like what is happening oh okay Cecilia and Rami are both sick I see okay so let's give you oh well you're gonna fall asleep first and then we're, it's gonna take us a while to get through this um which is you know because I'm dying no let's examine the patient Luna what do you want Oh, well, I'm with Paka right now, and to be honest, I'm not sure. Because they just kind of showed up to this person's house, and I don't know who how they're related to them. It's kind of weird. But, you know, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Cecilia, let's get you some medicine. And then Rami, my poor girl. And then we're going to get you some medicine. And then it is time to go back to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. I enjoyed making a house call out to Henford. It seems like all the people were telling me Henford needed help. I think they met medically. So now it makes sense. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so we're back and we're exhausted. Oh, see, Rio is still here. See, this was the other doctor, the ghost doctor. So he's still here, but now we have a like person doctor as well, like sim doctor. Oh, Thorne's here. Oh my God. Mark is here. I love Mark's hair though. Thanks. Okay. We need to take a nappy nap. Let's, let's just uh, do that real quick. Seven hours until she's not sad anymore, which is also good. Um, oh, I should eat some more fries before they go bad. I've literally just been eating fries all day. Oh, okay. Well, didn't make it to the couch for that. Oh good, she's fixing it. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, she's an orderly. I appreciate that though. Where is, is Naoki still here? Oh, there you are, okay. Um, swab. Treating your boyfriend's, is it the dad or brother? I don't actually know. We need to figure this out. I have a feeling it's definitely <laughs> like brother because it's like adult young adult anyway why is Thorne just like in there buddy you need to check yourself what are you doing you should really be sitting in a chair okay so some sort of infection okay so let's see what we can get for him Compelling. Oh, we don't actually know. Is, is that really what I'm trying to say? Let's do an x-ray then. And do we think that an x-ray is going to help us find an infection? No. Oh, it still goes while I'm sleeping. Oh, great. I hope Naoki doesn't die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're stuck. We're just going to reset him. Where did he go? Uh oh. Naoki? Buddy? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh shit, I lost him. I lost him. Okay, so Rosalie's workday will end soon. She did not have a great day. But it's okay. We're we're working through it. It's sometimes you have one of those days. Okay, compelling. Let's go triple threat um okay so that is surgical treatment am i seriously gonna do a surgery right now <laughs> i'm gonna do oh thank god i was gonna say i was not about to perform surgery on my new boyfriend almost boyfriend's brother when i'm about to pee myself have no sleep no food in me that i probably would have killed him like, 
if The Sims has, like, life, like, algorithms sorted, like, all of those factors 100% would have killed him in a surgery. So I'm very glad that I got out of there when I did. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to go pee quick. She's going to need to take some sleep sleeps. Oh, but maybe tonight we'll go out with Kiyoshi and ask him to be our boyfriend or he can come over here maybe. Look at that. She didn't even, she passed out and then didn't even pass out. Okay. Ro He's asking me out on a date. No, I need to sleep. I'm sorry. I need to sleep first. Just like give me like, I heard me and Bella Goth are good friends. She's dead and I ghosted her. Oh my God, Kiyoshi, you're so... He's so fucking clingy. He won't stop. Okay, you know what? Sir, you need to stop. I'm sleeping. That is stalker type behavior. But you know what? It's perfect for what she needs because she needs someone obsessed with her who will go along with a really quick wedding and like give her all his money and stuff. And then like he's getting like get killed. Okay, so can we talk about this? Why is Gerald's not big? So I see something here. So do I need to like build mode him and take him in and out? There we go. There's my Gerald. My buddy. I love Gerald. He brings joy to my world. Okay, so take a steamy shower. She's now ha she's now not sad anymore from uh, Bella dying, so this is perfect. We get the steamy shower, and then I can maybe go on a quick date. Oh my god, I know where I'm gonna go. Okay, I gotta I gotta place it though. So one sec. Okay, so unrelated, but I'm I'm doing well. It is, it is related. It's Sims related, but I'm doing a build project where I'm building up Newcrest, and I was doing it in my other save, but I kind of think I'm gonna do it here instead. I place down the restaurant that I've already built for the one neighborhood. Basically my project is building up each neighborhood in Newcrest with like a different look and feel and like there's a reason you go to each neighborhood kind of thing. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go out for sushi. I built a sushi restaurant called Sushi Co. It's available on the gallery if you'd like to download it. Um, shameless plug. But I hope that you enjoy it. We're gonna quickly... Why can't I ask him out on a date like that? I'm just going to ask him out on a date because I'm awake now, Kyoshi. Like, you were calling me, calling me like a psychopath, but I was sleeping, so I'm awake now. And we can go on a date now. Yay! I thought he wasn't going to accept. So we're going to just, like, head over to Newcrest, and, like, this is what I'm talking about. So, like, I have this ideal wedding venue, which is, like, a wedding lot that we can use for, like, oh, maybe this wedding, their wedding. But, um... I built this a long time ago and it kind of needs to be updated. The Sushi Co restaurant though is in this area and I was thinking I wanted this to be very modern. So I'm going to put like modern townhouses here, like three units um, and then the vet clinic and then a karaoke bar. Um, and then, yeah. So I, and I can't remember what I was going to put over here. Spa, I think. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to have a nice built up new crust eventually in this neighborhood. It's super exciting. If you want to look at it on the gallery, you can, Check it out at Aliatana. All right, we're here. Um, we're starving, so let's get us a nice... Which table do we want? Let's go this one. We do want to be inside. I think it's too cold still. Um, we do have these heater lamps, but they're not enough. All right, let's get ourselves a table. So there's really actually not a lot of options to eat at this restaurant because I realize there's actually not a lot of sushi options, but it's okay. It's curated. It's curated. And they have really awesome desserts. Very awesome desserts. Okay, so we're gonna like just real quick watch the TV. Sir? What the heck? Well, I'm gonna watch TV then because what the hell? But let's order for the table too. So. We're having a nice evening out, so love potion number four for him. And then a Von Haunt estate or Cupid juice for her. Yes. Okay, and then this is, we, I'm not going to get an appetizer, but we do have tuna nigiri, puffer fish nigiri. I'm going to have 
him have the puffer fish. I kind of like the tiger shrimp for her. Let's do that. And then we'll order dessert later. But look at the dessert menu. Mango. Mango. Okay. For us in in Canada, if you go for all you can eat sushi and you don't finish off with a mango ice cream for dessert, what are you even doing? So anyway, that's why that's there. But can we sit together? Like, what is this travesty? Where the hell is Kiyoshi and why is he just like not around? It's actually kind of rude. I really don't appreciate it. Like, I'm on a date, and he's just, like, not here. There you are. Jeez. What the hell? Why do you keep... Why? 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 No. Sit your ass down. What is wrong with you? Like, she can't even talk to him. He doesn't give... He doesn't even... Sims team, I swear to fucking God, if you don't fix this, like, I'm not even fucking kidding. This new pack, regardless of whether there's a please sit for the wedding, get Sims to sit for fucking regular things. Like, what is this? What the fuck is this? I've tried four times, four fucking times to get him to sit down. And he just sits and gets right back up before I can even fucking do anything. Enough. <sighs> Sorry, rant. It's okay, we're good. Right, it's over. Let's try one more time. Because I really just want food. And I want him to stop leaving. It's actually really fucking stupid. Stop. Look, guys. We finally have Kiyoshi and Rosalie sitting at a fucking table together. Ask about day. I'm, I'm setting all these up right here because I'm so pissed off. Like, I don't, I don't want him to stand the fuck up again. And if he does... Mm. You're on my hit list, Kyoshi. You're on my fucking hit list. Right when the food comes to this fucking guy. Where is he going? Like, where the fuck are you even going? Where are you going? Where? To the bar? Holy shit, this stupid ass person. Is he flirting with Cassandra Goth? <laughs> oh man, he is doesn't even know what he's done. Oh my fucking god. We haven't even had our food. Look at this. I can't even, how is my cue full? How is my cue full? Tell me. Why are you walking away? Oh my God. Fucking, fucking fuck. Get, I don't, I don't even care. Eat your dish. Drink your drink. Honestly, fuck men. This is my feelings right now. This girl is all fucking alone. Her, her date just left with his food. I don't know where the fuck he is. Why the fuck is he over there? I don't know. Rude as shit. And yeah, I'm dropping a ton of F-bombs because I'm mad at this guy. Like, what the hell? Like, we're lucky that we were going to use him, you know? He's lucky we're going to use him. Sir, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I haven't even been able to, like, enthuse about the taste. Like, I just want to talk about the food. Holy shit. I legit, like, hate him. And I'm just going to order our dessert now because this man's not going to fucking leave. I'm just going to ask him to be my boyfriend, too. It is unfortunate that he's such a tool face, huh? <laughs> It's just the way he's been treating her. Like, he's just been getting up and, like, leaving. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, just getting up. If only Co Rosalie had a cooking level five. Well, <laughs> Okay. Is this happening? Is it happening? Oh, my God. Look at his face. Yay, they're officially dating, and now he... 
can't be such a douche to her, right? Are you going to order your dessert yet? I want to order the dessert! Non-committal? Well. Okay, so... Should I get a tea? I'm going to just get a tea to drink for, for dinner. So, so, yeah, mango sherbet, yes. And then I'm going to get him to have dragon's breath because the last time I saw that, I was very happy about it. So... Uh -huh. Deep colors. Okay, he's finally cr like doing. What the fuck just happened? Um, my dessert better be fucking coming. Oh my god, this this pack needs fucking help. Get dine out needs so much help. Please, Sims team, please make this be your next one on your list because. Like, what was that? It just, like, glitched and they were out. Like, what was that? Ooh, we're having such a great time now. Now that we, you know, ate, we're in a much better mood. She's still going to fall asleep. But he can come over, maybe. Why not? Should I ask him to move in yet? I mean, I typically don't ask until they're engaged. So, maybe I won't. Um, so... Oh, okay. So, our... Our desserts are coming. Perfect. There they are. She's gonna just fall asleep, but it's fine. As long as Kiyoshi eats. Oh my god. That was the creepiest face I've ever seen him make in my life. Anyway, can you just like eat your dragon's breath, please? Eat your food. Like, why aren't you eating it? He's just like, nah. You're just gonna waste all that ice cream? Hey, look, it's Dustin. Tried to be nice before, but he didn't want to before, so I don't know. Well, I'm glad we had a good date, at least. Let's just uh, end our meal. I think I'm done. Oh, all of a sudden he inhaled the dragon's breath? Oh, okay. Let's not invite to stay the night because it's four in the morning. Okay, well, let's go home. I went like hardcore angry there for a little bit. <laughs> Dino brings the fucking worst out of me, huh? Wow. Okay, so we're exhausted. So naturally, let's woohoo with Kiyoshi. Also, I don't want babies, by the way. Like, this is the one sim I don't want to have a baby. Um... I mean, we could potentially make another room for one if needed, but I don't want to because I don't want her to have a baby. Her whole thing is marrying people, not having kids, and stealing their money. Like, that's that's it. Stepkids are enough, and she doesn't take them in even. So, um, she's got, she does not care. She's just, no. No. <laughs> just no. Oh, we really have to do some laundry. This game, man, it's so buggy. I just want to woohoo to get the fun up and go to sleep. That's it. That's all I'm asking. There we go. All right, so this has been productive. Kiyoshi is currently in our house. Um, he seems to be enjoying himself. You know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I still have my decorations. I should turn take those down. But anyways, um... I think that we've done enough for, for Black Widow today, but we have our next victim ready. Kiyoshi is going to be our next victim. We're going to steal his money. He's our boyfriend already, so next episode we're going to get engaged for sure and move him in. Um, and yeah, I think we're, we're moving along. Gerald is still going strong. We need him in our life. And Marvin is here just like raking my furniture, but it's fine. It's Marvin. I can deal with it. Anyways, I hope you have a really, really, really great day wherever you are in the world. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to watch more Sims videos. I try to release a few every week if I can, but I definitely will do more if there is some sort of demand for it. So please give me a subscribe if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!